All right, we're back. We're just a continuation from our first video. Uh, first one had a mobile handheld uh, cell phone jammer, which operated using an output power of about 12 um, milliwatts, which is approximately 10 dBm. Keeping in mind, I had stated that a thousand milliwatts equaled one watt. Well, we have a new device. This new device comes with a remote. Uh, as you can see, it's got uh, C, B, and A. C button being power on and off, B button being the low power setting, and the A button being the high power setting. The device currently is about 10 meters away. Um, we're going to go ahead and turn that on, and we'll do a, a low power setting first. And we'll just get in focus here. And uh, you just heard me press the button there. And Really, it takes about 20 seconds, it shouldn't take much more than that, and you'll see a, a decrease in uh, signal strength, and it should go to zero actually. And this is a Rogers iPhone, uh, there we go, and this operates obviously on uh, three different bands, and most people use the 3G for the um, data, or your internet. Uh, 2G was uh, searching mode now, if you didn't notice. Uh, 2G was the older technology, which was a bit slower. Um, not too, not too bad. I didn't find it too bad. Um, voice and data, and then if you see an O in the in the corner where it says searching, that is uh, represented by 1G technology, which which is GPRS. Um, that's the oldest uh, service and is still available here in Canada, and that's the best range and service the phone can get. And if it doesn't get that, then it'll just go to no network found. So once again, 1G, 2G, 3G. The first one being 1G, GPRS. Um, then you'll see an E in the 2G uh, setting. The E will be up where the search area is, left hand corner. That's edge technology and 3G is what everybody's using today which they claim um, kills the battery a lot faster on your iPhone, which is true. Anyway, um, this device is sold for people that want to uh, limit the usage of cell phones, let's say in a conference room, in a restaurant maybe, a theater, uh, school. Um, yeah, I guess you, there's lots of usage for it. The only legal usage for this in North America is for the police and the military. That's it. No need, no reason for anybody else to have one of these devices. Um, story in British Columbia, which is a province within Canada, was a principal had trouble with his students. He repeatedly told them not to use their phones or have their phones in class, and kids kept on texting and receiving calls while in class. Well, he went out and got one of these devices, probably like the one I have, I'll show you later on what it looks like, and used that and it worked like a charm, until one of his faculty or teachers, the only people that knew about this device, uh, ratted him out. The police got involved, he had to take it down, luckily he was not arrested, and um, they had to find other means of getting these kids to uh, stop disrupting the classroom. Uh, right now, the way I hear the story and what I've read, I kind of side with him, but the CRTC, the uh, regulatory body in Canada for communications, uh, wireless communications, RF, uh, same as your uh, FCC in the United States, they don't see any difference between him or anybody else. If anybody's paying for a service, which I pay almost $70 a month for this uh, iPhone, I have just about every service you can get. Um, if I'm not able to use it because somebody's stopping me, that's a denial of service. Uh, I'm paying for this service and it's almost like stealing. So that's why it's illegal. Um, People pay for a service, they're entitled to use that service. You shouldn't have people, for whatever reason, blocking them. And that's why these devices are illegal in North America. So beware of that if you try and order one of these. For the most part, the customs immigration people are going to get caught on. Oh, there we go, no service. And they're going to just stop them from coming in, you'll lose your money. So for me, a test environment within my house, put it away, and that's all I need it for. I'm warning you guys about the good and bad for these devices, and also the, a little bit about the law. But these devices work, and they work quite well so we'll end this video here as you can see we're out of service no service there and we'll continue on with our next